Welcome to Should It Be a Mead? Today we're asking the question, should Starburst be a mead? Let's get started. All right, so this mead um, got sadder and sadder as it went on, and you'll, you'll kind of see why. First of all, you look at the colors that I have here. These are the four main colors of Starburst. Red, pink, yellow, orange. They don't quite look the same as when they first started. And we'll talk about their little story here. So in this series, I like to put normally candy to the test to see if it should be a mead, but and eventually it'll, you know, turn to some other ingredients. I took an unwrapped, I bought a, I don't know how many ounces of Starburst container of mixed Starburst and unwrapped all of them. Of course, well, I say of course, I thought that there might be a more equal partitioning of the kinds of Starburst and there were not. So I ended up with like way less of some colors and more of others. So I don't have exact like weights of how many Starburst I used or stuff like that. It's my fault. But here's the, essentially the recipe I used. Um, I started, I did half gallon batches, a three quarter pounds of honey, a rough estimate of Starburst um, in each one, and then water up to a gallon. And of course my yeast, I did use GoFirm. Um, and the, actually, yeah, I used GoFirm, I think, in this in the <laughs> rehydrating process. And GoFirm, GoFirm, Fermade O, my brain's twisted, uh, Fermade O, in the kind of post 24 hour stage. I didn't do a Tazna feeding schedule because I was lazy. All right, so one quick thing you can change to make this recipe work better. You can adjust the pH balance using potassium bicarbonate. I did not check for pH balance or changes in this, which was probably detrimental, but that's why I include the potassium bicarbonate in the new recipe. Anyways, that recipe. I threw all of those Starburst into my water. So um, I basically just boiled the Starburst, Starburst in there. I had one of them boil over because I was not paying attention. So a reminder to pay attention to things as you boil. After that, I put them into containers. And once that I'd cooled, I put my yeast in. Um, they started off with a lot of life, a lot of color. As you can see right now, they were, I mean, honestly, a beautiful color for each one. And I think over time as things fermented and some other things, the, the color faded. They took a while to ferment out. I had a little problem with them. First of all, there was like at the top of the neck of the carboy, the like waxy kind of stuff that the, the Starburst has kind of accumulated towards the neck of each one and I had to make sure and, and kind of punch the cap, which was a weird kind of situation. So I punched the cap of each one. They kind of fermented. They all started at different gravities. The pink Starburst, you'll see this all on the screen, started at 1.100, finished at 1.014. The red Starburst started at one point, uh, had to go look it up because I forgot. The red Starburst started at 1.080 and um, stopped at 1.006. It's looking not clear at all, but it's the most clear of them. The orange was 1.102 to start, and this one did not ferment very far. It stopped at 1.050, which was fun. So lots of sweetness there. And yellow is uh, 1.124, and we stopped at 1.060. So these two guys are pretty sweet. Um, they, they halted. I was like, okay, well maybe I need to see if they'll possibly clear if I cold crash. So I did throw them into a cold crashing chamber and all that really did was I think pull the pigment out of this because they, after that process, became very sad looking. These look very sad right now. So that's an interesting conundrum. Anyways, it's been about 54, 55 days since I started these. They've been sitting. I did rack them over after that cold crashing stage to get them off of any other things, of course. There's still a little bit of sediment, but let's go ahead and taste them. I'm just gonna start over here. Uh, this is the pink Starburst. It's 
uh, Final Gravity 1.014, all those things. It still has a little bit of honey character. I mean, Pink Starburst is like, what flavor is Pink Starburst even? Oh, it's supposed to be strawberry. It's like a little bit. I mean, it's, I'm not like tasting a ton of strawberry side, but I think it's mild. I think it even said on there, mild strawberry. It's got a lot of viscosity. I think part of it is because it hasn't cleared. There's still some particulates. I don't believe there's any yeast in here anymore. And I, I'm very certain that they've halted because I haven't seen anything. After cold crashing and after racking, I didn't see any more fermentation. So I think they just stopped, which is exciting for these two. So Pink Starburst, it's okay. Um, we'll see. We'll see how the the red Starburst is now. If if strawberry is red, what is pink? Wait, if, stra if strawberry is pink, what is red? Oh, cherry. Gosh, that's dumb. Should it taste like cherry. Well, it's got a little more cherry taste than I thought. Definitely a little medicinal cherry though. So like tart. This one went pretty dry. And in a moment, I'll show you something I did back sweeten. Oh, I'll do a taste test back sweetening these a little bit to see if it helps. But there is some cherry flavor here. It's not clear, the clearest of them all. If you count this as clear, then we are in trouble. What's wrong with you? This is not clear. I don't know if it's gonna clear. I also don't really care to try. Uh, Red Starburst, kind of, kind of cherry I I don't really know. Moving on, Orange Starburst. This one ended up very sweet, 1050 Final Gravity. Woo! It's more enjoyable sweet, that's for sure. I'm not, I'm actually a decent fan of this. There's still orange, there's a lot of orange flavor here. I think the, the fact that it didn't ferment through all of that uh, gravity has left some honey sweetness, but also some orange sweetness from the Starburst. That one's pretty good. This makes me wonder, in a moment, if these will be better. Orange Starburst is winning it for me right now. And yeah, again, that's pretty high final gravity. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the yellow Starburst. This one, it just looks, I mean, if you handed a glass to the, of this to somebody, I wonder what they would think. Um, it's just murky, sketchy. Oh, whoa, that is a Starburst. Okay, the yellow Starburst is lemon. This is orange. Orange is the flavor orange. Lemon is yellow. It tastes like a lemon Starburst. I'm, I'm actually a fan of these two. I think the sweetness really helps. This has a lot of lemon character to it, retaining that sweetness. That's, for, that's not bad. Okay, so this theory then, with these being sweet, I now have a theory that if I were to sweeten these two over here, that there would be, a, they would taste a little better, maybe more true. So what I've done, I've already previously done this. I have two sweet versions. I took some, a small sample of each one, and then I took a little tiny amount of honey and I mixed it in. So let's taste these now with a little sweetness and see if that helps at all. Let's taste the red Starburst with some sweetness. It's a, um, there's a, a lot more alcohol burn on this one with it being so dry. It is very noticeable. Would not say that it helped the, the, the Starburst flavor. Red, no, no, that did not work. Okay, let's go over to then the pink starburst with some sweetness. That helped a little bit. It's, I'm doubting, <coughs> doubting my choice of, of honey at this point, because I used Tupelo honey to back sweeten, which might not have been wise. There's a little bit of that strawberry character, but it's not super prominent. Not super impressed with these. If you were to make a Starburst mead, I think that the orange and yellow um, are pretty dang good. I do think that these could be better given you do not ferment it dry. So if I were to do this again, which I will not be doing this again, I'm just gonna tell you this whole 
process is, is me just testing things and just having fun. And I know that there are a bunch of angry mead makers now who think I don't take this seriously. And for that, I say, get over yourself and have some fun. This right here is only good because there's residual sweetness. So if I did this again, I would start with a lot of, of my Starburst of either kind, any kind really, and make sure to start my gravity way higher than it, well, probably higher than the yeast can handle and or just plan to cold crash rack, cold crash rack until you get off of yeast and then stabilize. That, that version kind of sucks. So I would start this at like 1140 gravity and I would possibly, you know, ferment out, see if I could get it to get down to 1040, 1050, like these, and then you have a decent brew. Can Starburst be a mead? I think so. Now, I didn't have the best of luck with the red or the pink. I feel like I had better luck with orange and yellow. There's a bunch of other kinds of Starburst, tropical flavors and whatnot. If you would like to go and make that, of course, go do it. Um, I encourage you to just try things. I, like I said, this is supposed to be a fun thing. And of course I make serious meads, but every once in a while, it's nice to you know, take a detour and make something silly and see what happens when you throw Starburst into a brew. So, I think this can be a mead. I normally have somebody on here to help me also say so, but I don't think I need to with this one. So, thank you for watching. If you'd like to make this recipe, it should be down or on the screen right now. You can also find all of the, um, I mean, I have a lot of links down there, Discord and a Facebook page and some other stuff, ways to support the channel. Um, feel free to join that. Uh, I haven't mentioned this in a long time, but I do have a Patreon. And if you join the Patreon, you get to see my content early, which is very nice. You can also join as a YouTube member and see my content early. I post all of my things a week early for those people. So there's that. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed this. I put a decent amount of time in this video, so I hope you'll hit like and subscribe and those things that supports the channel. Leave a comment below. What do you think? Is this stupid? Is this not stupid? Eh. The video is out, so I don't really care, but I do want to know what you think. I um, hope you have a great day. Go make some mead, maybe a Starburst mead, and cheers.